Guys, quick review of my Spartan Ultra in Monterrey. I wrote a little text and I'll add the video to this uh, text, basically. Um, first off, like, where is Monterrey? Um, it's up in Mexico. It's quite nice, you know. The center I didn't like too much, but the way to my race was nice. It was like where the rich people live, you know, so all the way there, because it was at Ciudad de Allende, the race, precisely, and all the way there was like big houses projects, so if I'd have to pick a spot, it would probably um, be there, because the city itself looked like Mexico City, you know, so it's kind of dirty, um, and the race was amazing. The experience itself was amazing. The, the race was super well designed. And long story short, you know, we were quite stressed because the flight that we had to Monterrey, um, the first connection flight was to Cancun. I couldn't pick other flights. There was no other option. So this one here was uh, late. That meant that we couldn't get to Cancun to Monte downtown. So the other option that Volaris offered to us was to fly from all the way to Oaxaca to fucking Tijuana, which is a long way, man. You can see on the map here. And then from Tijuana to Monterrey, which is quite, yeah, it's stupid, right? Like, I mean, you can see here from Oaxaca to um, Monterrey. So anyway, um, that's that's how it started with stress you know we arrive at the airport and then we're not even sure if we're gonna make the race right but we understand that we, if we take their stupid option we're gonna arrive one hour late at the race so we decide to take that risk um which is not a big risk you know if they would have refused me to the race i would have run it anyway i don't give a shit about like organizers i mean i paid to be here and i make them good publicity so was a small risk, but we decided that when we would be in Tijuana, the, the other sacrifice was not only this, uh, be accepted or not to the race. It's like, okay, we're not going to sleep if we at, are at the airport. And there was no way I'm going to sleep at the shitty airport with bright lights and stressed out people passing by me. So um, we booked an Airbnb there. Um, so Uber to Airbnb, Uber back at like 11 at night to take her back at 1 a.m. in the morning. Shitty fucking flight, you know, 1 a.m. And at 1 a.m. Uh, travel to Monterrey. It's a two-hour flight, fortunately. And we arrived there in the Monterrey time zone. So that was another thing I was fucking with her brains, the different time zones. You know, we were flying throughout two, yeah, three different time zones, Oaxaca, Tijuana, Monterrey, um, we are arrived there at like 5 a.m., right? And the, the race starts at, I think, 6 or something like that. Or did it? Or did it start early? Anyway, bottom line, we take out this taxi and I'm changing clothes in the taxi um, while we're, yeah, on our way there. And taxi is three times the cost of normal because we're... It's like weird hours at night, right? And we, so it's from Monterrey Airport to, um, yeah, Ciudad uh, de Allende. So if we zoom in here, it looks near, but it's not, you know, it's like one hour um, from there. Everything is big in Monterrey, you know, these little mountains you're seeing, they're gigantic fucking mountains. So, Anyway, we, we arrived there, the Uber drops us off in the parking because the organizer is like, oh, you, either you pay or you walk. So we should have paid because we lost like 10 minutes walking from where they dropped us to the actual registration. And you can imagine the stress, you know. We finally get to the registration. So precisely the race was, it's like, uh, yeah, this whole, uh, this whole river, I think we did. Um, so the race was like somewhere here. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful race, you know, it's like mountain biking stuff. Um, wish I'd, I'd come back with my mountain bike. 
so I get to the registration, tell them about like the events, you know, the flight, they accept me, takes the time to figure out what's happening. I was eating um, a Starbucks baguette in the, the taxi, you know, finish eating that off. And I start alone, you know, um, and it's still night by then, you know, there's no light. So I put my headlight lamp on and I get going with the race, you know, which is 50 kilometer and 60 obstacle, um, which was easy. You know, it wasn't uh, difficult um, by any means, you know, like my pain threshold stayed fairly low throughout the race. But I mean, I start taking souls, okay? So like, if you follow Goggins, you know what taking soul is. Whatever the fuck my mental state is right now, maybe I've been pissed lately, but I felt good just passing people, men, women, old, young, doesn't matter, you know? I've, I've, and there were ultra people because they, other races, they start later on in the day, right? So it took me about like 20 minutes to start passing people, maybe 25. And I felt happy about that, but yeah, God had another plan for me uh, because I ate a shitload of karma as soon as I started taking souls, which is that there's a river here that, you know, we walk through and it's actually nice. It's actually really refreshing when you run and your feet are on fire. I ran with my uh, Vibram uh, V2 uh, trail. So they're nice, you know, they're very good shoes for that. Um, I would go fast in the water, you know, and that's, I had my iPhone on me. I had my AirPods also. And at some point I hit a, a water hole, you know, like, and there's current in there. And I hear a big sound like pluk. Um, I had my iPhone in my hydration vest. And I'm like, what what is this why is there a rock falling in the water you know like is someone throwing a rock at me or what um but yeah i soon realized that there's less weight on my hydration vest and my iphone has felt so i'm like oh can't you gotta be shitting me right because there's currents um in that river river with current current whatever the fuck you call that you know it's, somewhat similar to this. Um, so I'm like, fuck, I need to search for my iPhone now, which I do. And it's early in the morning, it's like seven or, or six fifty or something like that. And the water is fucking cold, you know? So, but I don't care about the coldness. I do cold showers every day. My preoccupation is losing my iPhone. It, it's not the price of the iPhone itself. It's just like all my passwords, all my codes, my habits, you know, uh, that I use this phone for. It's like losing a limb if you lose your iPhone. And by the way, I'm not a power user of the iPhone. I use it very moderately, you know. My wife says that it's almost like if I had an iPod Touch or something. It's not, I don't really use it much, but it still fucking sucks, man. Um, so 20, 25 minutes into searching, like on my knees in the river, in the currents, right? the fucking iPhone, I don't find it. And it's like, it becomes an impossible task because there's currents, there's a bunch of rocks, you know, and I need to crawl my hands under there. God knows what kind of beast there is. At some point I was like, shit, am I going to find a catfish that's going to bite my fucking hand like in the teleseries? So anyway, after 20 minutes, I'm like, okay, it's either I stay here or I get some form of hypothermia. You know, let me just check if I have meetings. Okay. So I have 10 minutes to tell you my story. Um, so yeah, like I, I'm like hypothermia or continue my race and get that medal. And keep in mind that by now I've sacrificed a lot to be here, you know, not just pre-race, train for that shit, uh, quote unquote train, you know. I do very well in Spartan race because I'm like a hybrid between muscle and endurance. You know, I'm not like a skinny endurance person. I, I'm strong, you know, and Spartan has a lot of these CrossFit um, uh, things. Anyway, so the sacrifice has been huge just the last days, you know, like when we were in Oaxaca on a Friday, just finishing my day's work, you know, and being with wifey that it was her first Spartan, she was stressed and so forth. and 
We arrive to the airport, our flight is delayed, just a fucking connection flight is shit. Just traveling for us is shit. We hate airports, we hate airplanes. They're they're the definition of stupid, you know, and how not to run a company or a product. Anyway, so I'm like, I've paid a lot to be here. I'm not necessarily in finance, but if you translate that into finance, probably like paid five to 10K to be here overall, you know, not the price of the ticket, which is really unexpensive, like 200. But if I calculate my time, the stress and all of that, and it, that's been on my bucket, you know, for a while, the Spartan Ultra, it's just beautiful, beautiful event and beautiful metal. It's like purple, you know, so I'm like, fuck it, you know iPhone's staying there. <laughs> I'm going out with my race. And keep in mind that all the souls that I've taken by that part, they're passing me back, you know. So I was late to the race. I catch up to them, was doing really good in my race. And then they're passing me back, you know, and being like, motherfucker. We're laughing, you know. By the way, that sort of happened to me in last race in Spartan Beast. Um, but that was a, 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 a brute force lesson. I actually twist my ankle twice when passing people sprinting on downhills, you know? So yeah, I guess that was like rougher, but anyway, so I continue, you know, back going back to the river for my first loop. You stay a while in the river, you, you walk, I like the river. It's really refreshing, you know, for the articulations, for inflammation and so forth. It's just genius. It's just genius, you know? Every way, every race should have that. Iron Man should have that, you know, just a, a nice cold river in which you walk um, with your shoes or something, you know, or like a, an air compression system, a, 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 a air, yeah, like cryotherapy and so forth. Um, they should have that because the articulations, they, they eat a lot in these races. And yeah. So I go back and there's a bunch of obstacles till then. I just have fun. You know, I, I felt like three of them, including the spear, the stupid spear throw, which is fun. Um, then I, I finished the loop, you know, and I, I the, the loop is genius again, not only for the river, but because there's a section that is that is muddy. OK, and that means that you're running like in, in a very comfortable surface. I was on my Vibram, you know, so I feel everything. And that's like massage for the feet, you know. So whoever designed that race is like, yeah, it's very smart. And Joe uh, Senna, Joe De Senna is a fucking genius. Um, I'll tell you that these these races are, are well designed, are smart, you know, and they're really aligned with uh, what I'm expecting. Um, so I come back on the second loop, and I I still have hopes of finding my iPhone, right? Like. Uh, it's like, oh, I'm going to cross the river again. Yay. If if God believes in me, then uh, I'm going to find the river, the, the iPhone, the river. So again, I'm on my knees at the second loop, searching that time, not for 20, 25 minutes, but probably 10, you know, because I was like, I might be lucky or not, you know. And then I start searching a bit more in front because I'm like, the current must have taken it. And um, yeah, I take 10. By the way, it's like in the halftime, my wife ate, fed me the other half, uh, well, the other baguette, the Starbucks baguette, that really helped, right? Because there's no food on Spartans. Um, and maybe I can show you a couple of pictures here. This, you know, taking souls. I got my soul taken, which is funny, which is the classic karma. I like that karma. And it's like boisterous and eating it back in the face. Um, bottom line, yeah, like there's a part on concrete also in the race, which I, my legs didn't like, but that's fine. You know, it's part of the game, multiple surfaces. There's mountain climbing as well, which is really fun, really well-designed race. Again, had a lot of fun doing that. And yeah, I don't find the fucking iPhone, the river on my second loop. So again, keep on going. Try to take a couple of souls, but it's hard to take souls at like 40 K kilometers ish, you know, but I do my best, you know, I keep on running and finish the race at around four, you know? So let's assume that I started around eight, like simple math, you know, five hours plus four, that's like nine hours, 10 hours ish that I did, uh, which is pretty good. It's not epic, you know, my, 
ultra, my last ultra that I ran was 80 kilometers. It took me 16 hours, but I was mountains after mountains after mountains. It was quite ridiculous. Um, it, it was fun though. I have fond memory. A couple of lessons here. My Vibram, they paid off a lot. Then not having food actually helped me because what tortures me usually is my gut. And that didn't happen here. So if anything for my next races, I'm going to keep it really simple diet wise, you know, going to eat one thing and I'm not going to overeat and I'm not going to overdo eating. Usually I just overdo eating, um, but I do really get hungry and I, I didn't get hungry here. Maybe it was because of the baguette. So that's um, it for the Spartan race. I'm just going to go through the dog just to, to see it, if I cannot give you a couple more lessons. Um, I think, you know, taking souls was the main thing and, uh, you know, just going uphill and I, I used to call it like when I would go uphill in that race, Tsimatar, which is like my legs, uh, my, my feet going to, 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 it's like a little engine, you know, and yeah, that, that helped me, you know, uh, it helped me to maintain pace and just be, be on track. Um, so that that was um a good system just to never stop you know just uh well i used to stop on uphills but yeah to always have that little engine going on you know it doesn't matter if you look like shit and walk like an old man as long as the little engine is is, is advancing forward and um yeah oh last lesson like don't eat shit like I did after the race because I felt horrible the next day. We ate pizza and Tim Hortons. Yes, there's Tim Hortons in Monterey. Um, Cause yeah, I felt like shit there, but yeah, the rest of the adventure was cool. And thanks for everyone that supported into me, my wife, um, family, Joe DeSena for founding the company, the folks that organized and assisted during the events amazing uh, amazing events and i would highly recommend me you know i'm gonna eat spartan ultras like candy obviously i'm gonna go with their evolutions um these are like easier than iron man's right also that's to be noted but they're so fun man and i'm definitely gonna crunch them anytime i get the opportunity <laughs>